Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to unbox. This is coming from Jorge, aka, I'm pretty sure uh, this is coming from uh, JD, over at JD for EDC. So I have the Stormtrooper Growler V2. Um, I did take this apart, I didn't record it because I was kind of doing it um, right before dinner, but I took it apart and I put skiffs in it, cleaned it out. It was a little bit schmutzy, a little dirty, and uh, Skiff's... The action was really good already, but... Um, I mean, no play at all. It is a tank, and it's dropping, basically. And that'll keep breaking in with those Skiff's, so... Dead centered. The detent on this one? Oh, yeah. So, really excited about the V2s. We're going to try to get those into production pretty quick. Probably just going to order, I don't know, like 400... 450 something like that maybe 150 of each version just to keep it simple we had a lot of the v1 so i don't want to go crazy oh shit got some extras check it thanks dude so there you go jd for edc big hand reviewer of edc gear thumb hole over thumb stud so I guess he's saying he has big hands. <laughs> That's kind of weird, dude. That's <laughs> funny, though. Then again, I'm the guy who goes around saying dead nuts and uh, other weird shit. So, damn, I got some gummies up in here. Some gummy bears, baby. That's authentic, too. That's that Harry bow, baby. All right, I would leave this on the table so you can see his logo the whole time, but these are friggin' huge. So I'm going to actually, I think this is for pass around, so I'm just going to, I'm not even going to take one. I'm just going to leave it, and I'll uh, pass it around. So this, I believe, is a prototype of the Pyrite Button Lock XL, if I'm not mistaken. He offered to send this around. Um, I kind of, I basically run a pass around group at this point, let's be honest. There's like 40 knives in there. I don't know if it's that many, but it's a lot. So it's legit at this point. It's a pass around. And um, JD offered, or Jorge offered, to um, pass around this prototype, which was very kind of him. I didn't realize I would end up on the list, <laughs> but that's fine. I'll start it off. Um, yeah, this is the Pyrite. I mean, it's just a classic knife. It's so good. And... Um, what I don't like, I'll tell you right off the bat, is I hate these shadow box liners. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Um, it just looks like shit. You can see them, and it really makes it look like a uh, Ferrum Forge. It looks like a stinger. Because of that, that's how theirs is. Um, I love the button location and uh, the action. They just have crushed this button lock on the Pyrite. It doesn't get better than the Pyrite button lock. It really doesn't. Um, it's hard to beat that sucker right there. Uh, it's a big boy. So, nice uh, Friday Night Gas Station 7-Eleven grip. And um, I can see why he picked up the XL if he's the uh, big hand reviewer. <laughs> I gotta give you shit for that. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I remember when I started my channel... Uh, there was like a few knives I did videos on and some people were like, man, your hands must be big. Cause like, you know, I, it was like an MBK, uh, like an, uh, oh, what's the easy, easy, is it the easy C? I think it was the easy C like 2.0 or 1.5. It's like a tiny knife. Look, your hand must be huge. So like for a week I did some videos and I was like, I was like, yeah, we'll see how it feels in my mitts. <laughs> kept talking like my hands are huge i learned pretty quickly that my my hands are not uh abnormally large they're uh normal they're just large glove size hands they're not large <laughs> if that makes sense um anyway this is a prototype of the xl in green g10 ar rpm 9 i assume yep love it and great action i mean it's, it's crazy how good uh the pyrite is There's a lot of good budget knives, like the Migaron Mayoral and others. Um, but this has got to be one of the top dogs. I mean, the price point for what you get is insane. 
It's a little too big for me. I'm guessing this is the XL they're calling it. We get a full finger choil, which is nice. Um, no jimping up here, just back here. Thumb studs. Again, the action is on point. The detent is on point. Works left hand as long as you stay off the button. Yeah, very good grip back here. Not much more to say about it, honestly. Super thin, slicey blade. That's going to be a really good cutter, I assume. Uh, here's a... Whoa, Kev. Here's, here's a size comparison to the uh, Growler. If you guys have a Growler. This is the same size as the original Growler. Um, so you have a 3.1 cutting edge, 3.3 from handle to tip. 7.5 overall on this knife. And you're going to be looking at, you know, an extra half an inch here, half an inch here. So you're looking at about 8.5 inches on this bad boy. It's a big knife, you know. So, Yeah. There you go. That is the CJRB Pyrite XL. I'm probably just going to ship this guy right off to the next guy. I don't really uh, want to carry it or anything. I mean, I've carried the Pyrite. This is just a bigger version, which I don't want. I'm not a fan of big knives like this. Like, I get it for people like JD who, who do have the large hands. Um, it fits their hands well, where something like this to me is like the perfect fit maybe even a little more than i need but i can grip back here comfortably right this is kind of small to them to them this is like you know they choke up in the choil and they get a full grip uh, which is really all you need um but i'm really just stating the obvious here but a knife like the pony stout for me choked up is like the perfect fit right um this thing would be like absolutely tiny to somebody who has two XL hands or whatever, this would feel like that pony stout, right? So this feels like a normal knife to somebody like that, where it just is a little too big for me, right? Um, this is like just right, really enjoy it. Um, I could go smaller though and not mind at all. Um, but this is like, just getting a little too big here. That's what she said, so. Let me know what you guys think about this guy. I think it's cool, shout out to JD um go check out his channel for sure i'm gonna link it i'm gonna tag it um hopefully you guys go check it out give him a sub give him some views um he's got a cool channel he does um a lot of cool reviews and he does disassemblies he does some modding uh very cool stuff over on that channel i enjoy watching it so um i think you guys will too so love you guys hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i can definitely recommend this guy once it comes out or if it's out i mean yeah really really good so i will catch you guys later